What's up, Rick fam? Back here with another week, week four of Workout Wednesdays. So this week, or this past week, I should say, we we went and did a lot of stuff. Uh, my cousin Brett was in town. You'll see a video, hopefully sometime soon, if Michelle ever gets around to editing it, <laughs> of, of that experience. We went to Epcot. We went and played Top Golf and stuff like that. So it was a really fun weekend. We did a lot of walking. Uh, I think Saturday alone I did 10 miles just walking around Epcot doing the food wine festival. Didn't eat a lot because it was really crowded. So, but 10 miles, that was a, that was like huge. I was looking at my watch. I was like, oh my, it's like two times the, my move goal and everything was hitting on my, my Apple watch. If you have an Apple watch, you know what I mean. So did a lot of that. Um, Sunday, we had kind of like a lax day. Yesterday, we were winding down from everything. We didn't actually walk, but I did weigh myself and it's been going up and down, up and down with my weight. I weighed myself one day and it's never a good idea to weigh yourself after like your day of like lunch and breakfast and stuff like that. And I gained like the three pounds I back, I lost back and I'm like, well, crap. And then I thought about it, I was like, I've been eating all day and everything like that and sitting around my computer desk so it doesn't help. Uh, best option to do is you know, when you first wake up in the morning, you're in your skivvies, just go weigh yourself and that's your most I ideal weight is that. I usually tend to try to do that Saturday mornings when I first wake up because I don't have to worry about like, oh, I've got to get ready for work and stuff like that. But Saturday, Sundays, or Mondays is typically when I try to hit for that. This week, we're still walking around, like all the way down to Crane's Roost Park, doing one lap around and back, which we found out was about three miles uh, total. We, we've been doing a lot of, you know, I've been doing those uh, seated dumbbell twist rotations. And I think I thought about what you just go like that for 150 times. Uh, it's been a week. I haven't really noticed much, but my back feels amazing. Because every time I do it, I, I hear... I'm like, oh, I'm getting old. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've we've been, like I said, cutting back on the sugars, cutting back on sodas and junk food and stuff like that. A lot of what we've had this week for nutrition-wise is chicken. Uh, I made stew one week, which... I cut out a lot of the sugars and the fat from there. Ooh, camera just went weird on me. And uh, I, I've just been trying to cook healthier and better portions. My mom got me a present. And if you guys hold on a second, I'll go get that real quick. So be right back. My mom got me meal prep containers. She got me like 20 of them. You know, 10 for me, 10 for Michelle. These are the lids, these are the actual bases. So in the actual bases, what you'll notice on here is you have a big open container at your proteins. And then you have two small containers and each one of these, from what I understand, are measured out to be what you should be eating portion wise. So it's like all your protein should be in here and it should fit in here. And if you look at it, it's about the size of my fist, which I told you earlier in another video that you want to have about a fistful of protein. And then you have a container for your vegetables and your carbohydrates, which is, you know, brown rice or whatever you make that can go in here for your carbohydrates. And then vegetables can do whatever. Or you can do both vegetables and just skip the carbs altogether. So this was a cool little thing. I mean, they're flimsy and stuff like that. I was a little scared at first and I asked, I said, can these be microwave? And on the back of, I think the plastic it came in, it said, yeah, it's dishwasher safe, it's microwave safe, all that stuff. So I was kind of happy about that. And I was like, cool, we can use those for that. Um, so thanks to my mom for that. We're gonna, I'm definitely gonna be using those for that, uh, helping out. I don't do much of meal prep. A lot of what I do is cook enough food for Michelle and me to have dinner and then enough to put into our container left over for tomorrow for lunch and then when I get home from like tomorrow I'll get home from work and I'll cook another thing and I'll have enough for dinner and lunch 
So that also goes back to having enough food left over so you could have you know, dinner and lunch are going on to eat, you cut your meal in half, take half of it for dinner, half of it for lunch for the next day. And it, it's just, it's the easiest way to doing it. I've done the whole meal prep of, hey, I'll cook, you know, five pounds of chicken and a pound of rice or whatever to match that. And I'll divvy it up between five containers for the week or I'll put it in one container and then every morning I'll take out like two cups of protein, one cup of carbohydrates and vegetables I'll cook uh, and I'll put them in there too after a while the chicken becomes rubbery the rice or whatever becomes soggy and it kind of gets repetitive and bland so keeping your doing meal prep is really good for you if you really want to like target and strict it but to get a better for me to get a better uh, to get more bang for my buck out of my meals is, I guess is what I'm looking for I, I want to have variety in them. Like, I don't want to be chicken, rice. Tuesday, chicken, rice. Wednesday, chicken, rice. Thursday, chicken, rice. Done that, hated myself for it. It was almost as bad as starving yourself. So there's a lot of places out there you can go and you can get uh, meals, like ideas for like low carbohydrate meals, low fat meals, and they look delicious. I've tried some of them myself and they actually are delicious. Uh, was it tasty is one of them delish will do them every once in a while bodybuilding.com they do that and all these places have youtube channels and facebook they're very big on social media and they'll post this stuff up they're like hey you know six great cart low carb meals that you can do today and it's like uh low carb pizza or something like that i saw them today on facebook i'll i usually try to look at those meals and go from there but check them out, look at them, and you'll see like some meals that you might want to do. And it's step-by-step -step instructions or a video that'll play to tell you what to do with everything. That way you can see yourself how to cook it. Uh, right now, what I did for tonight, tonight's dinner, I and mean, this is a Tuesday, I think. I didn't record yesterday. But tonight I'm doing chicken that's been marinating for two days and and like honey and what honey does is it's an active protein that breaks or an, an active enzyme in it that breaks down protein and makes it uh tender like it's almost like a tenderizer so i've had that sitting for like two days with some other spices in it and then i chopped up some like a potato like two potatoes chopped them up in like the little quarter cubes put them in there with diced onions and then I put asparagus on top, put a little salt and pepper, a little paprika, chili powder, and garlic in there, and a cup of water. Set it on high, and I'm letting it cook. Probably gonna be about two or three hours before we can eat it, and that's fine because Michelle's running late today, anyways. So, simple meals like that will get you through the day. I could have done all this in the morning, got up a little extra early, done it all in the morning, just had it cook on low all day, and come home, and bam, dinner be ready. That's the thing too, is get yourself a crock pot or a slow cooker. They're a lifesaver when it comes to meal prep during the week. You can meal prep those, put them in a Ziploc bag in the freezer at the beginning of the week, and then every day just pull one of those out, dump all the content into a crock pot, set it on low, cover it, go to work, come home, dinner's ready. Clean it out, next day, same thing come home, go to work. There's no prep, there's no anything like that besides the initial prep. And just keep, like I said, I always keep telling you guys, keep up with yourself, make sure you are doing this for yourself. Nobody else, you're not like, I'm trying to look better in my swimsuit or anything like that. Just, you wanna have that mentality of, I've gotten out of control, I need to do this for myself, I need to get rid of this, this, or whatever you, you feel uncomfortable with. It's up to you to get it right and you know, stay responsible for yourself. If you don't do that, you're gonna slide off. you are like, oh, I'll have one Coke and we'll be fine. And then one Coke turns into a case, which turns into like two cases. And then you're back where you started. So you know, keep, keep responsibility for yourself. Keep doing this for yourself. And I hope you guys are keeping up with it and everything. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are liking these videos, please feel free to comment on them. Let me know. 
you know, tell me what your goals are and what you're looking to do and to get out of these videos and, you know, drop a line by, tell me what you, you know, like anything you might want to need help with, motivation, a workout buddy or something like that, something to, that'll help you out in the long run. Just let me know, you know, leave a message in the comments down below, hit a like button, and as always, live your life on the brink. Bye guys.